Five, a young father murdered in his own home. Now, two years later, investigators are still looking for the killer or killers. News Channel 5's John Shaneman sat down with the victim's family and with detectives still trying to get justice. Bundle of energy, always smiling, loved to talk to people. James Heiner describing his son Matthew. Matthew graduated from Port St. Lucie High School in 2004. He opened his own jewelry store, creating custom-made items, like the Elvis Presley lightning bolt around his father's neck. He then went to work at Jared's in the repair department. I used to tell him, you're a rising star. And uh, I said, just keep doing what you're doing. The night of November 10th, 2015, there was a fire at Matt's home. An initial sweep of the home by first responders found nothing. The next day... But I looked down in the ashes, and I looked, and I saw my son's skull. He was killed by the fire. Detective Ronald Wentz with the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office has been working to find Matthew's killer or killers, someone who left him in a state where he couldn't escape the flames. That, that in itself makes it a little unique. Um, throughout the investigation, we've learned that he didn't just let anybody that came to the house come in the house. There was a large safe in the home that contained guns and jewelry. It was open, but not forced open. The motive for the crime, likely robbery. This is going to be my personal opinion. The investigation hasn't led us down either path. My personal opinion is yes, there were, were had to be multiple perpetrators. James Heiner wants his son's murder solved and thinks someone out there knows something. It destroyed this family, totally. If you have any information in this case, you're asked to call the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office at 772-462-3230 or Treasure Coast Crime Stoppers at 1-800-273-TIPS. In St. Lucie County, John Shaneman, WPTV, News Channel 5.